Hi, my name is Josh from Zenata Consulting. In today's video, I'm gonna go through how to enter a contact into a Zoho campaigns workflow using Zoho survey as a trigger. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing down below. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments below and we will follow up in next week's Azaz. Thanks again for watching, enjoy. This is kind of a multi-step process and I'll walk you through what we need to do. You don't have to use a Zoho survey. You could use a Zoho form or even another outside third-party survey tool. It uh, doesn't really matter, but that survey needs to integrate with the CRM. Uh, so I'm just going to show this demoing with Zoho survey. So in this case, we have a simple contact us survey. Uh, so we're putting in the first name, last name, and email address. And this survey integrates with the CRM into the contacts module. And so these fields are integrating, uh, but I also have another field inside of that contact that says enter campaigns workflow. And it's simply just a pick list field. Uh, the only options are either yes or no. One thing you might not know is whenever you're integrating to the CRM from survey, you can actually just put in direct values. You don't have to pull in a field that's inside of the uh, survey. So in this case, I'm just saying anyone who submits this, we are going to yes enter them into that campaign's workflow. Uh, so what this looks like inside of the CRM, we have a contact record. Uh, enter campaign's workflow is just a pick list value. And that's all you really need. So now we can go into campaigns. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that that field is syncing into campaigns. So we're going to come in, go into the sync settings. Again, you just click on contacts, Zoho CRM. There's a contacts sync services. So a CRM, and then you click on contacts. You're going to edit this, and then we want to just click next. That'll bring us into the field mapping. And you'll notice uh, I don't have that field map yet, so we just need to click map more fields. And I'm going to find that field that I have. So enter campaigns workflow. I don't, it doesn't already exist in campaign, so I'm just going to click new field, add, and then initiate. Now that field has been added and I can create a segment based on that field. So then I'm gonna to go to contacts, segments, and I'm gonna create a segment. So this is just gonna be called enter and evidence workflow. That's gonna be based on field called enter campaigns workflow is yes. Now that the segment created, now the contact probably hasn't synced in yet. Uh, it's going to take a little bit for that sync to happen. But now that the segment exists, I can modify or create a new workflow that's based on a segment or a contact entering into a segment. So let's just choose a, a simple follow-up series here, and I'm going to use this template. Instead of doing an on-form submission, which you could create this out of a, a campaigns form and just have them directly enter it. So that's might be the easiest way if it's just a simple contact us form. But uh, a lot of people like to use Zoho surveys or Zoho forms for their UI and its integration to other services. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know, uh, Zoho Campaigns does offer forms, but they are very limited in their integrations to other services. And the, the theming is is pretty limited as well. So in this case, we're just going to remove that trigger and we're going to have it enter based on entering a segment. And then we just choose that segment, enter campaigns workflow. You might want to rename that to be something more specific. Uh, and then the, choose the contacts who you want. Uh, you can either do the existing or new contacts, only new or only existing. Uh, let's say only new. Now it's done. Uh, whenever you're ready, just click activate and you are good to go. So Again, you can do this with any survey tool uh, as long as it's syncing into campaign uh, CRM, sorry, uh, and then sync that field from CRM into campaigns and generate that segment. If you wanted to know um, a little bit more about the signup forms directly inside of campaigns, you can also just go hover over contacts, uh, do signup forms. And then you can create a signup form based on a template. So they do have a few in here. 
One reason why I don't like using signup forms is the name. They don't have an option to split up the name field into a first and last name. It's just the full name. So whenever you are trying to merge in uh, just the first name or you want this contact to sync into CRM, uh, it becomes challenging because you aren't presented with their full name delineated by the space. It's just their full name. And that would have to feed into the last name field inside of the contact record, which uh, can mess up uh, some data and it's just kind of ugly looking. So if it's very basic and it's just a campaign sign up letter, then you can stick with this and maybe just ask for their email address and assume that they aren't going to be syncing into the CRM. But if you want them to show up in the CRM, then I recommend using survey or forms, updating a field and then syncing from CRM into campaigns.